This is Big Island Video News for Friday, June 2nd, 2023. Kilauea is not erupting. However, the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports the Hawaii Island volcano continues to show signs of heightened unrest. The current alert level for Kilauea remains at advisory. Summit seismicity remains elevated, but no unusual activity has been noted along the volcano's east or southwest rift zones. Meanwhile, the Kilauea Seismic Imaging Project conducted during the month of May is winding down. The project's vibro-sized trucks seen operating on the roads surrounding Kilauea has been generating seismic signals that scientists say will help to provide a new detailed view of shallow subsurface structures and the magma system beneath the volcano's summit. The vehicle belongs to the Natural Hazards Engineering Research Infrastructure Experimental Facility at the University of Texas at Austin which is supported with funding from the National Science Foundation. Maurice and Susan kind of talk about what they're doing. The difficult issue of homelessness was discussed at this week's public meeting with Mayor Mitch Roth and his county administration in South Kona. You come here, you know more a permanent address. Go back. I hear what you're saying. Um, I, you know, I wish it was that easy, though. The talk comes on the heels of a recent enforcement operation in Kailua Village. Unfortunately, a lot of times it feels like we're chasing our tails. Because if we move them out of one park, they're going to go right to the next park. If we move them out of one park, they may go right into your businesses, in the alcoves and the vestibules of the businesses. So we kind of changed our approach a bit to where law enforcement, working with Chief Ben, is now our, our last priority. We want to get them services. We want to get them help. We move them out of Holly Hollavi to go right in front of old, um, old Airport Gymnasium, which is where they are right now. We move them out of Mohale Bandstand in Hilo. They go right into all the businesses. So how do we stop that from happening? And that is with outreach. That is with getting them services. I mean, uh, Susan will tell you, some of the people at Holly Hollavi took plane tickets back home when they were offered. So we know that there's an issue, but we're working on it to you know, see what we can do. It's not illegal to be homeless. We have this little document called the, the Constitution that prevents us from doing, you know, a lot of those things. But we couldn't do the enforcement part so much without the services. And now the coordinated effort allows us to do those things. So I'm really not going to ask the chief because they, they can only respond when there's a crime. But if you have any other ideas, we'd like we'd love to hear them. The Act 279 Working Group, comprised of six state representatives, met at the Capitol on Thursday to get an update from the Department of Hawaiian Homelands on the execution of the $600 million in general funds appropriated by the legislature to address the needs of Hawaiian homes beneficiaries. Lawmakers got an update on various Hawaiian homes developments, including those in Kona. So at Laiopua, um, in order for us to um, settle that area, we do need water. So the first two projects are off-site um, water development projects to acquire different um, sites. Um, the first one is with Kamehameha Schools. We're continuing negotiations with KS as well as with the County of Hawaii Department of Water Supply. Uh, second one is uh, Gianulius site. It's a private landowner. And uh, recently um, we received a letter of intent from the owners uh, $9.2 million, and uh, we have accepted that uh, letter of intent, and the seller is currently setting up escrow and fees. Hawaii Island Representative David Tarnas also inquired about the status of the developments in Waimeo. It's not on this list here, but it's certainly folks in my district are all chomping at the bit, uh, is the, both the Pu'ukapu and the Lalamilo uh, housing developments there. Um, we just had a, a, a meeting last week with the Corps of Engineers mm -hmm. with their update on the UXO right. removal. They say they're getting close. Lalo Milo it would, should nice. get a full clearance. Yeah. Of, you know, no action, no further action letter should be forthcoming apparently on the Lalo Milo project. Yeah, you, you got our letter, or I sent you a letter with the update. So yeah, yeah. That, that's real close. Yeah. And uh, that's a priority. 